Kayong muntag and happy Sabbath mga kapaglaong. God said, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Found in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. A good morning and a blessed Sabbath mga kapaglaong. The Lord is indeed merciful and full of love to make sure we are awake this in this wonderful day. So na nato ang adlaw ipapahulay with our 7-7 prayer. Yang iyo po ang tanan, mag-uban ka na mo sa pag-ampo. Ampo ta. Our Father God, we thank you for another gift of life today. Thank you also for the gift of the Sabbath that reminds us that you are our Savior, our Creator as well, and Redeemer that uh, will come the soonest time possible to, get, to take us home in that heavenly home prepared for the righteous. Thank you for hearing our humble request because we ask this in dear Jesus' name. Amen. Mayong buntag o happy Sabbath ka natong tanan. Prayer is a bridge from the Lord to us people here on earth. It is what keeps us connected to the Lord, mga kapaglaom. Atong exercise ang atong kaugalingon sa makanunayong pagduol sa atong ginoo through the way of prayer. Good morning and happy Sabbath and welcome sa Let's Pray Visayas. Yes, kapaglaom, Sharon. Yes, kapaglaom, welcome. Pastor Elmer. Once Good again. morning and happy Sabbath, yes, everyone. Yes, thank you. The soul that turns to God for help, support, and power with a daily earnest prayer will have a clear perception of truth and duty. Mm. Good morning once again and kini yung tulumanon alang sa mga pag-ampo o pasalamat sa atong buhing Diyos. Dalaygo ng Diyos sa kanunay tungod kay magkauban na usab kita sa sulod sa usaka oras, mga kapaglaom. Ang Diyos anda maminaw sa atong mga pangyupo o pasalamat. This is Kapaglaom Pastor Elmer, Making Doyog o Making Uban ka ninyo, Kaoba ni... Kapaglaom Cherry, yes. Kapaglaom Cherry. Kaya sa Let's Pray Visayas, Dili ka mag-inusara sa pag-ampo. Good morning once again. We would Good like to yeah. thank everyone who are watching us via uh, local TV, national TV, and also via Facebook Live. I would like to personally greet the Mendoza family. Hello to Doc Gab, Doc Evans, Ate Levan, and Gab. Yeah. Also to our friends and brethren in Capital Center SDA Church here in Cebu, and also to Cebu City SDA Church or Sam Miller Church. Yeah. Happy Sabbath and good morning, Happy everyone. Happy Sabbath. Sabbath, of course. And of course, maayong buntag sa tanan and happy Sabbath. Uh, I'd like to greet Victoria Nabio Navarro, Ivy Naza, Anilin Enriquez. These are our friends on Facebook. Yeah. Um, LV Pitos Oligario, Benjamin Fontabilia, Rashid Bacos, Verna Dokinos, Eugene Oliva, Boy Sakai, Ogjoy Cabronero, Roy Takan, Mirna Bisario, Mr. and Mrs. Carbiliedo, Mr. and Mrs. Gasta, Mr. and Mrs. Neftali Ferrer, Loretta's family and Moldes family din sa lutopan. Kag uh, at ato mga ginapasalamatan, kag uh, ginatamyaw ang aton mga kautoran nga nagkapamati dira sa may Morsian Negros Occidental. Mm nga nagatun in karon sa CPAC FM radio frequency 88.8 ang Let's Pray Visayas mabatian ninyo dira sa tag sa Kasabado sa ala City Tubtob sa alas 8 sa aga mm. kag atong gitamyaw ang presidente si Dr. Choli Risardo That's right kapag love Pastor Elmer and indeed mga kapaglaon praise God because mas accessible na ang Let's Pray Visaya sa atong mga viewers. Mapasibu ka man or asang dapit sa kalibutan, you can watch a simultaneous broadcast via Facebook Live from 7 to 8 in the morning. Just search Let's Pray Visayas. And you may tune in also to Local TV 25 every Saturday morning from 7 to 8. And at the same day, nata replay there sa itong Gisa Channel 33. And this is not just an ordinary Sabbath morning, kapag laong Sharon, kapag laong Pastor Elmo, because mga kapag laong, we are celebrating the annual worldwide compassion activity of the Seventh-day Adventist Church on Global Youth Day. That's great. So, muna ni ang mga panahon sa mga kabatan una, di ba? Yes, and even those who are young, young at heart. Those who feel, we are always here, we are young. Daghan kayo ang mga programa gi-plano sa itong mga church members today para mag-buhatan ng itong compassion activities. Normally, na yung mga manghatagong food, water, medical mission, medical missions, free BP check-ups, and a lot more. We even experienced in the past year na nag-ano may 
exchange fruit for a cigar. So if you saw someone in the streets and nag smoke a cigarette, and we share about the health message, mm -hmm. and then if they will uh, surrender, surrender the, their cigarettes, yes, and we'll give them the fruits. Very uh, good. Okay, so, so that's we great. are very excited. Also, unsa pa ang mga tuluman nun ng gibuhat sa ato mga uh, kapatan unan karong adal. So if you have uh, if you want to share your uh, compassion activities online, post it on social media and you can uh, use the hashtag GYD18. So let us be the hands and feet of Jesus. Be today. the champion? Yes. Also. Okay, let us be great. the champion for the cause of Christ. Very good. Very so, Dugang Paniana, para sa atuang Las Previsayas, we would like to let everyone. Um, to refresh the minds of everybody that we are also broadcasting on national TV through GSAC Channel 33 every Saturday, 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. So if you happen to miss the morning episode of Let's Pray Visayas, do na kita replay, di ba? Sa itong oh. GSAC Channel 33 every 7 to 8 in the evening. Yeah, that's every Saturday. Every Saturday. So, mga kapaglaom, kung kamo na gusto ipadangat sa prayer request o mga praise reports, mapasalmaton kami magabi-abi sa pag ni Ini sa mga pag-ampo. That's right. Just let Search Let's Pray Visayas and like us on Facebook and then leave a message for Instagram and Twitter accounts. Also just type hashtag Let's Pray Visayas then post your prayer request and praise reports. That's good. So you can also send us your message through mobile. Sa ato mga smart subscribers, you can may send us to 09 or send it to us to 0947-413-7010. Sa Globe subscribers, 0977-240. 7298 and you can call us anytime just dial 412-2100 local 120 Apan mga kapaglaom kung confidential gani ang inyo mga prayer request o praise reports please specify by writing confidential aron kini maampuan gihapon sa ato mga prayer warriors ato mga eksoonan apan dili kini i-air din sa ato ang tulumanon that's right, kapag laong Pastor Elmer. And this morning, in the past weeks, or for this month of March, mm -hmm. we've we been talk talking about success, success oh, how to achieve. Okay. But on the other side of the coin, this morning, we'll be talking about something that many of us fear. Mm -hmm. And this is about failure. Maybe I think that is a natural kind of feeling no? for us human beings. Na ma fear ta, ma ta mm -hmm. for that word na failure. So this morning, mga kapaglam, we are going to talk about how to cope with failure. Mm -hmm. Kapaglam, Sherry, um, was there any time in the past na feel ni mga nag -fail ka? Yes, many, many times. And it's a very hurting kind of experience. Ma feel ni mga nagulang ko. Or maybe, basin og dili insakto kung preparation. Or maybe, basin, usay maka question ganita pa nagsa kay tawhano malanta, no? Maka ingon tawsay nga, unsa ka, basin og wala ba ako dungga sa kung mga pag-ampo or yeah which which is very very true and um, realistic in that sense mm -hmm. o sometimes makaiunta ba nga ka ng unsa ka ko ba sinahilayo na ako sa ginoo mo na wala na kay kumbad wala ako yung madungog could it be that that um in that yeah. Um, kapag way. lang, Pastor Elmo, mm. uh, with mm. the reaction, um, sinagi, he's good ni kapag lang, Cherry, do, do you think this is normal to everyone to feel this way? Uh, uh, you, uh, human being as we are, kay naatay sa stand nga sinful nature. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, we are still struggling with our weaknesses and uh, our, our sins. Uh, there are failures, mm -hmm. but there is uh, a saying that runs like this. Uh, prayer can never in excess. In other words, all our failures can be um, put into a perspective of true prayers. Mm. Mm. And uh, always keep in mind that uh, he who is often down on his knees in prayer stands upright before God. Amen. Ah, that's so beautiful. <laughs> Na knees is very important yes. in our Monagon Christian perspective. It's mm. just a knee and floor away. Yeah, yeah. so. And if someone also fail close to our hearts, that person is just a prayer away. Yes. Yes. Exactly. That, that is why we are doing this. Um, let's pray with Sayas. Yes. Para right. kita maka, uh, makatabang sa katung uban nga. They felt nga failure sila sa kung sila kinabuhi. Uh, yeah, sakto. Uh, Kapag laom siri and she, uh, there is one saying that uh, tells us that mu the music of human experience is not played in only one key. Mm. We may experience the major chords of happiness, mm. courage, and confidence, 
But at times, we must also listen to the minor key of sorrows and tears. Yes, because as you can see, we may also experience the sweetest of all success mm -hmm. if we experience the bitterness of failure. Exactly. Correct. Okay. And ang failure, mga kapaglao, as we know, dili lang siya sa usalang kamatang, pwede siya sa mga students in the academe. Mm -hmm. uh, for others, could be sa ilahang career. career. Yeah, or relationships sometimes. Awesome. And they exactly. say, family. And they say, daghang mga aspects sa itong kinabuhi nga, pwede siya mo fail mm -hmm. nga aturang makope. Pero na yung mga uh, aspects po nga, lisod siya. Mm -hmm. Ibalik. Kung mura siya, kung ma-break na siya ba, lisod na siya ma- Ma-balik pa. So what does the Bible say about yes. how to cope up with failures, Pastor? Oh well, um, the Bible is very clear in uh, the Old Testament that says, uh, "But as for you, be strong and do not mm. give up, for your work will be rewarded." According mm. to Second Chronicles 15:17. In other words, uh, God is always there. Mm. Uh, God is not. Uh, uh, holding his uh, his gift to us mm -hmm. uh, it's if only we ask it from yes uh, because uh, prayer is not uh, asking god to go down but mm -hmm. uh, ourselves going up to god mm -hmm. so after all sa atong mga failures in life masas na to ba nga it's not at actually how many times you fall that counts it's yeah. how many times you stand exactly. up after the fall. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And siguro na ay tay mga kapaglaom karon nga nag-watch or na minaw sa to over mm -hmm. the radio na makaingon sila nga sometimes ang kani atong mga ginasulti mga cliche kaayo <laughs> nga mga wow. nag-ingon lang muna because wala man muna fail karon. But siguro on my perspective po, it's really okay to feel kanang down at times because mm -hmm. we also have to acknowledge how we feel. Exactly. No? Mm -hmm. And I even asked someone, what do you do when you fail? And then I spend time with myself, mm -hmm. which is right. If, if you think maka help, yes. if maka help siya sa imuha, then go ahead, have time with yourself, go out, mm -hmm. um, nature, walk ba kaya ka? Or others must very live sila when they cry it out. Very good. Okay. So it's okay to cry. And even mm -hmm. when we pray, it's okay. Okay, nga hilak na tayo sa kinabuhi. And for the mature believer, um, they see failure as a, a chance for them to learn about the grow about lessons for growth and for changes mm. and transformation. Exactly. Because change is really constant. Exactly. Yes, very good. And uh, according to Jeremiah chapter twenty nine verse eleven, mm. it, it says, "For I know the plans I have for you," declares the Lord, "plans to prosper you mm -hmm. and uh, and not to harm you." Plans to give you hope and failure. In other words, God has a plan for us to, for all of us to be happy, mm -hmm. because uh, we were created in God's image. So God is a happy uh, being. So with us. Yeah, and God wants us to grow despite the failures. Amen. You grow and learn through the failures you have Amen. in life. Amen. And it's also good that we acknowledge that at times we fail, mm. so that we would also acknowledge that God has the power to give us, or to trans to divert our failures yeah, to exactly. success. And also, it's good that we refuse to hide our failures yeah, exactly. and blame somebody else for our failures, mm. especially the people around us or the mm. circumstances. Now, it's what they say, basta kunuka kuan, if you cannot, if you cannot change the, the circumstances around you and you are bound to fail. Mm -hmm. Change your attitude towards yes. the circumstance. And the way we react to that circumstance mm -hmm. would define how we will overcome and succeed. Very good. Okay. So, mga kapaglaom, we know that sometimes in life there are valleys. Yes. But take heart because God has better plans for us. And in due season, there is time for everything mm -hmm. in Ecclesiastes 3 as it says. There is time for everything, so maabot ang panahon niya, everything will just make sense. Yes. So, just because you fail doesn't mean that you are a failure. So, Correct. So, failure, failure may teach us, yeah. but it, 
it doesn't have to define us. Yeah. Failure is hard to take, but there are many ways to take it. Failure is no step downwards. In fact, it is a step upwards to success. Without knowing what failure is, we will never know what success is. That's mm -hmm. right. That's and great. in all these challenges in life, mga kapaglaom, let us always remember that our true goal is godliness, godlikeness, and God is there to help us achieve success. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so this morning, we hope that we can encourage everyone who is going through some failures or depressions maybe to take heart because God is in control. Amen. So we will give time to our prayer requests and praise reports after this quick break. With deep trust in His will For with Jesus I don't fret For He knows the very best It is faith that makes me see My Savior who died at Calvary His arms in a tangible embrace. It is faith that makes me love the invisible God above. He guides my life in ways of mystery. He brings out all the best in me. Oh, I tell you how it is faith. Even if we fail to see Him through our eyes, we witness His love moving our lives. Amen. 
Besides, we are indeed so blessed with the song, and we are also indeed so blessed with our request senders. And of course, we have our first prayer request coming from 69th B4. Akong, ako si Bird na tundag sa Tagum City, paliho pastor, e apil ako sa pag-ampo, kaya na ako'y sakit. O ginaot mo ang taado na siya, ay mamaayon na siya siya sakit. And of course, another prayer request coming from 29th B5. Please could pray. For Nephtali Aganyo, nga maayo na siya sa iyang prostate o pneumonia o tanan iyang ibatsyag sa tibok lawas. So another prayer request coming from 3480. I am requesting for a special prayer for my mother. Her name is Esther Dionaldo. Sumasakit po ang kanyang paa at tuhod. Mm -hmm. And she is experiencing fatigue and weakness every day. And of course, um, another request from the same sender. Request for a special prayer for my uncle. His name is Melvin Refulhente for his recovery. Um, he uh, underwent ang angioplasty. Mm -hmm. Matigas na po para sa um, matigas na yung bara sa ugat. And of course, another prayer request from the same sender for, for my aunt. Her name is Libertad Vivas. May tumubo po na tumor sa lalamuna niya. So, and then cancer po ang findings ng doctor sa kanya. Please pray for her. So this is coming from Fredilin Rios, San Fernando, Romblon. Pastor, let us pray for them. Okay, shall we pray together? Our Father God, we pause for a moment. And we are glad that you are a God who answers requests and prayers. A physician who have never been uh, a failure in any kind of diseases on this earth. We pray in special way for our uh, friends who have different kinds of problems in their physical body. Uh, Sister Berna, uh, Brother Naganio, uh, Brother Junaldo, uh, Brother Rifulhinti, and also Sister Esther Junaldo and uh, Libertad Rivas. You know, Lord, that uh, uh, Derek are they uh, need your presence uh, at this very moment. Please heal their maladies, Lord, for them to be of uh, great help and uh, joy in the family as well. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you so much for the prayer, Pastor. We also have another prayer request from 2644. May I request to please continue to pray for my co-worker's father, Mr. Alan Lim, who was advised to have bypass operation mm -hmm. and Mr. Mark Connell, mm -hmm. he has autoimmune illness. Please pray for Mr. Garda's mother who was diagnosed with malignant tumor mm -hmm. in the breast. And also, please pray for my family in our new business that this will be a success and use our means for the furtherance of his work and also strength in times of trial and temptation. Another from 7565, Happy Sabbath po. Ako si Mirna Kabuyao, Malawi. Ipapray ko asawa ko na may sakit. Five years na po siyang mm -hmm. di makalakad. Mm -hmm. Ali Mawi po ang pangalan niya, taga Davao del Sur po kami. Maraming salamat. Also from 4372, hi po, gusto ko pong ipapray ang aking lola na may sakit sa cancer. Ako po si Monday Grace. And from 7849, please i-appeal ko sa inyong mga pag-ampo tungod sa akong sakit sa akong likod, dikan sa iba ba, o hangtod sa hawak. Thanks and God bless. From Sindangan. This is from Linda. Uh -huh. And last, from 7838, Paliho ko og pray kay Brother Rani Palyasan na siya uh, for his total recovery or total healing. Matakabalo exactly sa iyahang mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. condition. But uh, we will surely pray for total recovery. 
Okay. Again, dear loving Father, we are here to make an appeal for your uh, tender mercies and the holy olive oil to touch the uh, physical body of our dear brothers and sisters who have experienced different kinds of problems in their health. Lord, we pray that you will bless the different uh, means, the doctors, nurses, members of the families attending them, that somehow, somehow through them they will be relieved of their sickness and problems. We know, Father, that your will be done, not ours, because we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor, for that very wonderful prayer. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. That's in Isaiah 40, 29. So another prayer request is coming from 0895. Gusto unta na ako ipaampong akong uncle sa akong classmate nga si Marielle Baldeo kaya iyang uncle nagkabangga o lain pang motor and then mm -hmm. sa pagkakaroon na comatose man ang iyang uncle. Nagang salamat. From 2134, let us, um, let us pray sa akong papa nga si Brother Anastasio Tagon nga may balatian nga na stroke. Kabay unta makarecover siya. And this is coming from Bacolod. Another prayer request is coming from 2411. Please pray for my mama nga na stroke. Luz Dakara Adal from Kidapawan City, North Cotabato. And of course, we have additional prayer requests coming from 9481. Good morning, Pastor. Ako si Guillermo Jerusalem. Magpaampo unta ako, Pastor, sa akong asawa nga si Sir Lita Jerusalem alang sa iyang safe na pregnancy. And um, I'd like Pastor to um, to include in our prayers Brother Boy Cortez, the oh, husband okay. of um, Dr. Bern Cortez mm -hmm. from Tagaran City, for his full recovery. Kagikan siya nakagawa sa hospital. So Pastor, let's pray for them. Our loving God, we once again for the prayer session we have this morning. Lord, we are here to present to you the different uh, needs of your sons and daughters. We are here, Father, to ask for your mercies and uh, we are here also, Father, to receive the humble request we have through faith because we know that you have promised if we ask, you will give us and uh, if we knock, you will open all the mercies and the blessings from heaven. Lord, we pray that we'll bless our dear brothers and sisters who have this kind of different uh, problems in their health. And we pray, Lord, that you will bless the medicines and the different uh, needs that they have in order for them to recover the soonest time possible. Because we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Mm -hmm. Have faith and hope today. Amen. That's in Psalms 34, verse 18. For more prayer requests from 1458, pwede kong magpa-pray para sa akong sister for safe pregnancy and delivery. And please pray also for my good health. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Another from 9781, magandang umaga po, Pastor. Ako po si Jamiel Palmon ng Brooks Point, Palawan. Pagdasal mo rin po ang paa ko kung nakagat ang ahas. Mm -hmm. oh. And also from 1582, ako ay humihiling ng isang prayer na sana sa madaling panahon makalakad na ako. Ako po si Cresanto Tibunsay from Nueva Vizcaya. Mm -hmm. Another prayer request from 1279. Please include me in your prayer. Nga unta, tagaan ni sa maayong panglawas kauban sa akong bana sa pagpamasahe or nagmassage sa may sakit mm. nga unta maangko nila ang maayong panglawas mm. kauban sa among pagminsahi as an instrument for them og mahimo usab kami nga ihimplo sa ila mm. thank you pastor from Rosita Ruelan Lumba mm. well this is such a very good ministry <laughs> shall we pray for them pastor okay um, again loving father we are here for the different uh, needs of your people we know, Father, that uh, you 
give in accordance to your will. We believe that all our requests are answered. Maybe now, later, but we know, Father, that you are there hearing our humble request. We pray, Lord, that you will uh, guide the different uh, uh, individuals in their different needs too. And uh, we pray that this morning be with them and uh, guide them and let them feel your presence, Lord, because we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, then who is against us? Romans yeah. 8, 33. So we have additional prayer requests from 2947. Pastor, paliho ko og ampo sa akong asawa nga si Bernadette, buhian og mga anak nga sila Mer Merle Judith and Jessame Dave Sunburn na magkahiusa kami sa Ginoo. God bless. Amen. No? From Dave Buhian, Caloacan City, Manila. And another prayer request from 7220 from Kumalarang, Zamboanga del Sur, SDA Church. Naghangyo ko sa pag-ampos akong bana nga si Dodong de la Cruz na mabalik na og simba. Dagang salamat sa pag-ampo. From 7528, prayer request lang po sa San Antonio Church sa Northern Summer Visayas na mas ma-develop po pa, pa ang among church o ma-develop pa po ang among faith. And from 6957, Brother, please pray for Bonifacio family. From Atter Bonifacio, taga Pulomolog, South Cotabato, apil mi sa inyong mga pag-ampo. Okay, so Pastor, let's pray for them. Yeah. Okay, mga kaigsonan, shall we bow our heads? Our loving God, we know, Lord, that if there is a greatest legacy of all legacies, is the legacy of faith in you. We pray, Lord, that you will guide our brothers and sisters to be near you always we know that in our journey in our christian lives we have ups and downs and barriers but we know for sure lord that uh, without you in us we will be a failure strengthen our faith in you and we pray that uh, you will guide us that somehow our faith will be uh, glow again by having our close devotion with you day by day through prayers and reading your scriptures because we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for the prayer, Pastor. For our viewers who just tune in, you may send us your message. Sa atong smart subscribers, you may send your prayer requests or praise reports to 0947413-7010. For Globe subscribers, 0977-240-7298. Or if you are in Cebu, you can also dial 412-2100-local120. Makapaglam, 1 John 5.15, it says, And if we know that He hears us, Whatever we asked, we know that he, that we have what we asked of Him. And this morning, we have the hope and faith Amen. that the Lord will answer our prayers Amen. according Amen. to His will. And at this time, we'll give a chance to our prayer request sender from 8689. Prayer request me, nga hatagan ko sa dugang kadasig sa akong pagtuo. Kay akong ba na, wala pa sa pagtuo. Amen. Uh, yeah. Nagaampo kami, kami nga, ilang dolphin watching nga uh, negosyo. Mm -hmm. Unta mas mulambo para makahatag sila sa ilahang tights mm -hmm. o padayon para makatabang sila sa buhat. Mm -hmm. Kinigi ka ni Marina from Negros ba SCC. Also from 5070, akong request sa pag-ampo nga unta akong asawa nga si Veronica Bunghanoy nga mudawat na unta sa Santos nga Bautismo from Juni Bunghanoy of La Paz, SDA Church, Zamboanga City. From 4135, ginahangi ko sa pag-ampo sa among membro sa simbahan sa Kayabon. Aron magkauban kami pag-usa sa among simbahan sa Kayabon Milagros. Mm. I think this is in Masbate. Mm. And from 4610, good morning pastor. Akong ipaampo si Kuya Ayan Pabriga o si Ellen Pabriga nga mubalik na sa pagsimba. Kini si Princess Pabriga taga Binuay di Mataling sa Buanga del Sur. Mm -hmm. Wow, we'd like to greet good morning and salamat sa tanan natong mga kapaglaong nga nagasuporta sa ato ang programa din sa Buanga yeah. del Sur area, my birthplace mm -hmm. and sa tanang taga Mindanao. Shall we pray for them, Pastor? Okay, let's pray. 
Again, loving Father, we are glad for our brothers and sisters who wanted to be of great help in your work and uh, to live closer to you before it's too late. And uh, we pray, Lord, that uh, some of our members in the families who are not yet in, in the truth, please guide them and uh, give them the right perspectives that somehow before it's too late, we will be in the heavenly home prepared for the right use. We pray also, Lord, for their livelihood, to support their family, their church, and uh, also we pray that there will be unity among us uh, in the church so that your work will move forward, especially as we face the great challenge of the total member involvement. Thank you so much for hearing our request, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor, for that wonderful prayer. Um, this is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. 1 John 5. Amen. Amen. I like that, uh, I like that scripture verse. song. Yeah. Yeah, this is very good. So, of course, we have other prayer requests coming from 3207. Akong ipaapil sa akong pag-ampo ang among di Bible studyhan diri sila si Mr. and Mrs. Virgie and Johnny Yap. Na kanunay, tandugon nilang kasing-kasing o ato sila madala sa tiilan ni Christ. Amen. Very good. Another prayer request is also coming from 7894. Happy Sabbath! Palihong ko og appeal sa pag-ampo sa akong anak na lalaki na ang tahatagan na niya o importansya ang iyang spiritual being mm -hmm. na dawato niya ang ginoong Jesus from Vel Bordado, San Jose, Occidental Mindoro. So from 5790, my buntag pastor, ako i-request sa pag-ampo na among igsuon nga si Christina Lucica uban sa iyang mga anak. Sulod na sa dusi katuig wala mi nasayad kung asa sila karon oh. hinaot paunta makontak na sila and this is coming from brother Yoyo Lucica gikan sa magsasay Davao del Sur lagang salamat okay dear lord i believe and uh, we believe that uh, you are here hearing our humble request lord we know that uh, some of our needs is because of your uh, guidance to each one of us, grant Lord, that uh, you will touch the hearts of those who are away from you and those who are near to accept you and those who receive your words, grant Lord, that through the Holy Spirit, through any means, maybe dreams and visions, they will accept you as their Savior. We pray, Lord, that you will bless and guide the brothers and sisters who wanted to receive an answered request for their prayers. And we pray, Lord, that it is only through you that we can gain access through the answered prayers because we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Makapaglam, if you too have prayer concerns that you want to be prayed with us, here at Let's Pray Visayas, you can find us in Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And um, just search Let's Pray Visayas. And again, sa mga bagulang na tune in, uh, pwede nyo isan sa ato mga hotline numbers. And you can also call us. But uh, kapag lang, Sherry and Pastor mm. Daghan, you guys yung gaabot yung mga prayer requests and praise reports. And sometimes, dilit na ginato kaya yeah, exactly. i-air in one Yes, but Saturday rest morning. assured that we are going to pray yeah. all these prayer requests. Kung dilit na ito ma-pray din, we will be praying for you exactly. on the air. Yes, okay. Yes. And uh, in First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 11, it says, Look to the Lord and His strength. Seek His face always. Nate mga special na prayer request uh, from 0132. Good morning, happy Sabbath. Akong gi request a prayer nga nakahanap og bagong work sa akong asawa si Ray Honor from Lucille Dagami of Leyte. Also from 9385, iuban ko sa inyong pag-ampo mga igsuon na makakita na unta ko og trabaho nga na makasimba ko sa adlaw nga Sabado. Salamat kayo, God bless atong tanan. No, dagantang mga nakita po ani nga mga prayer request. In fact, if I may share, Pastor, yeah. before we pray for this, isa sa ato ang mga volunteers sa Let's Pray Visayas. Muni yang struggle before. Aniyahag yung gi-pray and praise the Lord. Murag 
Karon nga din nag-end siya sa yung previous job tomorrow ni ni yung job and yeah. oh. he is happily serving us with us here so yes, that's very that's nice. Great. So have faith lang yun mga kapaglao. Yeah, exactly. So we pray for them. Ay, sir? Yeah. Our Father God, uh, we know Lord that you are there to test our faith and our love to you. We pray Lord that you will bless our brothers and sisters that somehow you will give the way for them to have their work that is free from the Sabbath so that they can worship you during Sabbath and they can also support their families and needs day by day and they can support also your work. Thank you so much for opening the way for them because we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor. Then you will call on me and pray to me and I will listen to you. That's a promise from Jeremiah 29:12. So, of course, we have praise reports coming from 6-1. Wow. I'm always okay. excited for this. Yeah, okay, and personally, good. I would like to praise God for the, yeah, um, for the success I had. Yeah. When, <laughs> okay, so I to my academic career. So, thank you, Lord, for that. Very, we yes. are so proud of you, Thank you Sherry. so much. Praise the Lord for praise the blessings. The okay, so 6103, oh, Pastor, happy Sabbath. Daku ang amun pasalamat sa mga prayer na inyo gong ginabulig kay Sister Julita Recto na siya nag na sa iyang sakit. From Bahandi family ng Asagra Romblon ang nagpasalama. Okay, praise God. And of course, from 7106, akong iampo pasalama sa ginoo na humana ang kurso na Police PO1 Cheriza Peña Abrantes, RTC8 from Marie Bebot Peña. That's very good. Yes, and I would also like to also include uh, sa mga prayers ang atong mga students nga na graduate kan yes. sa ilang pagpaningkamot yes. yeah, exactly. between um grabe ang moving heaven and earth just mm -hmm. to get exactly. these boys. Okay? So we pray for them, Pastor. Our Father God, we praise you because of the answered request through prayers. Uh, we are happy also, Father, for your guidance especially to our uh, their brothers and sisters or young people who will take their medical board exam uh, that somehow they will have a passing grade for them to enjoy to be a support to give support to their family the church and community we pray also for those who will take the teachers board exam this month and uh, those who will take the IELTS as well and the, med the medical technology li licensure too because we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Salamat mga kapaglaong for praying with us here today. Amen. We are so blessed yeah. saying your mga prayer requests and um, rest assured that we will always be here for you to give you hope. So this time, um, Kapaglaong Uni will bring us to a place where nature inspires us to become healthy and strong. Let's watch, let's explore Visayas. Good morning mga kapaglaom! Welcome din hey sa Let's Explore Visayas! Kumusta man ang iyong simana? Stressful ba? Do you want to relax your mind and body? Well, New Start is the answer for you! Unsa man din New Start mga kapaglaom? Mauni ang nutrition, exercise, water, sunshine, temperance, air, rest, and trust in God! Kanus aman mo last naka-exercise mga kapaglaom? Was it Yesterday, the other day, the last year, pagyod, exercise in the open air should be prescribed as a life-giving necessity. If you are tired of the hustle and bustle of the city life, tara, let's explore Osmenya Reforestation Project or the Campo Shete Man-Made Forest. Let's go! Ani akita din hi karon sa Osmania Reforestation Project or ORP din hi sa Campo Shete, Minglanilla, Cebu City. This forest is 25 kilometers away from downtown Cebu. And to get here, one may either took the shorter Tabuno Campo Shete via Manipis Road or the farther route via Cantabaco in Toledo City. 
This menu reforestation project is the first and oldest reforestation project in the country. It was established in January 13, 1916 with the passage of Act No. 2649. And if you will do the math mga kapaglaom, that's 102 years ago. That's right, and this Arcaria tree right behind me, it's more than a hundred years old na siya nga kahoy. And if you look at it personally, mura siya o pine tree nga kahoy, pero si Kuya Marlon, it's a Arcaria tree. In 1916, the project was known as the Talisay Minglanilia Reforestation Project. The late President Sergio Osmeña Sr. sponsored a bill allocating 10,000 pesos for the project. That's the name Osmeña Reforestation Project. President Manuel Quezon renamed the site and proclaimed it a forest reserve back in 1937. This 123.4 hectare experimental forest station serve as a demonstration and training center for the conservation and management of forest plantation, seed production area, cave and ecotourism, and as field laboratory for the environment and natural resources technologies. These man-made forests is a haven for nature lovers and trekkers. Others also bring their whole family here and they create wonderful memories under the cool and shaded road of the forest. The desire of God for every human being is expressed in the words, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. The Creator chose for our first parents the surroundings best adopted for their health and happiness. He did not place them in a palace or surround them with the artificial adornments and luxuries that so many today are struggling to obtain. He placed them in close touch with nature and in close communion with the Holy Ones of Heaven. In the garden that God prepared as a home for His children, graceful shrubs and delicate flowers greeted the eye at every turn. There were trees of every variety, many of them laden with fragrant and delicious fruit. On their branches, the birds caroled their songs of praise. Under their shadow, the creatures of the earth sported together without a fear. The noise and excitement and confusion of the cities, their constrained and artificial life are most wearisome and exhausting to the sick. The air laden with smoke and dust, with poisonous gases and with germs of diseases is a peril to life. Physicians and nurses encourage their patients to be much in the open air because outdoor life is the only remedy that many invalids need. It has a wonderful power to heal diseases caused by the excitement and excess of fashionable life, a life that weakens and destroys the powers of body, mind, and soul. As these gifts of nature meet the needs of plants and animals, so Christ also meets the needs of those who trust in Him. So mga kapaglaong, paningkamutan, yun na itong nakita, mahimong mahimsog, o baskog, dili lang sa itong panglawas, o sa ito pong spiritual nga panginabuhi. Kini ang inyong kapaglaong Uniform Home Channel Visayas, o hangtod sa sunod higayon, kita magkuyugay na usab sa pag-explore, din hilamang sa Let's Explore Visayas! Thank you so much, Kapaglaom Uni, for showing to us how wonderful mm. lang ato ang forest din ha sa Osmania Reforestation Project in Campo Siete, Minglanilia, Cebu. We never know nga na yun na ng klase nga yes, kaming reforestation. Yes, it's a man-made forest, oh. Kapaglaom Cherry, nga okay. how century old, old na. Okay. Nakita naman nito mga kahoy nga more than 100 years na magulang mm. pagyod kayo na ito, mga kahoy oh, Of course. Oh. Oh. And, Grabe siya ka refreshing from the city nga uh, init kayo din tubog na kayo ang lugar. That's so, right. with a wonderful hike and exercise na nice light pa maol pero happy ra yes. gyud. So, oh, good. Next Saturday ato na pong uh, lantawon kung asa na pagkahang lugar nga isyo. Yung pagkatuan ni Kapaglaom ni. 
That's right. And sa ato mga televiewers nga nagkinahanglan o gusto mo salmo sa atong Tracks Ministry, atong supportahan ng atong Glow Tracks that's giving light to our world. Mm -hmm. Ado na kini English ug Cebu One version and sa atong activity karon sa atong Global Youth Day mm -hmm. daghan food kay nga mga tracks ang gusto nato i-share. Yes. Yes. There are actually various topics uh, both in Cebu in English mm -hmm. could be about health uh, if you feel so lon lonely about mental health mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. nga topic sa atong panahon okay, karon. So, good. if you want to have copies of the tracks, just contact us on our hotline numbers. Also, you can search us on Facebook, just type in Visayan Glow. For more details about the Glow Tracks ministry, let's watch this. How far will this paper go if we turn it into this? You can share it to a friend. who can possibly pass it to a medical doctor who reads a lot. This can also reach the hands of a patient and his family who wants to practice healthy lifestyle. Or to a weary laborer who wants to be reminded that all our labors are not in vain. Comfort, hope, joy, love, long-suffering. These are some of the thousands of possibilities this simple piece of paper can do. Share a glow track today. Visayan Glow is now available at the Central Visayan Conference. You may contact us and like us on Facebook. Tanang pasalamat o pasigarbo atong ihatag sa labaw makagagahom sa kanunayang nagatubag sa atong mga pag-ampo. That's correct, Pastor. Busa mo ka mong giimbita sa pagpadala sa bisan unsang prayer request and praise report sa atong ihatag ng mga numbers o sa Facebook, Twitter o Instagram accounts sa Let's Pray Visayas. Your prayers are welcome regardless of your religion, race, age, and status. Yeah. That's right. The Lord will surely prosper you this week as we continue to face the 12th of life. Amen. Once Amen. again, mga kapaglaom, thank you so much for supporting Let's Pray Visayas. Also, we would like to thank the management and staff of the Osmanyo Fire Station Project din na sa Campo Shete, Ming, Lanilia, Cebu. And also, sa tanan na itong mga batanon o tanan na itong mga kaigsuunan nga ready na kaayu mo go out today to, to do the compassion walk for yes. Global Youth Day 2018. That's Global Youth Day. Yes. yes. Um, once again, uh, if you will upload your photos and videos online, don't forget to use the hashtag GYD18. Mm -hmm. And also, I would like to greet happy, happy birthday to this very sweet and thoughtful child, our dear friend in Capital Church, mm -hmm. Gab Mendoza. Happy birthday, oh, Gab. No, happy birthday. Gab. We'll spend happy birthday. time with you later. And with a tender and fitting love, Lay hold of the discouraged and helpless ones. Give them courage, hope, and strength. Be God's hands and feet today as we do Global Youth Day 2018. Be the servant. Kini kapag laob siya sa Hope Channel Visayas, saying, delight yourselves in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. That's correct. This is kapag laob cherry saying, let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. May you have a wonderful Sabbath day today. And this has been your Kapaglaom, Pastor Elmer. Nagaingon, let's pray without ceasing. Anton, sa sunod Sabado, kami making uban ninyo sa pag-ampo kay Dini sa Let's Pray Visayas. Dili ka mag-inusara sa pag-ampo. Happy Sabbath! Enjoy Global Youth Day! Amen.
Sing my song.